If you have heard of Jean Bilbrou or Enig, as he was known, then you must be curious about the life and work of this enigmatic artist. Jean Bilbrou was an African-American illustrator and artist born in Los Angeles in 1924. His life was shrouded in mystery, and his death in 1974 from a heroin overdose in Manhattan only added to the intrigue surrounding him. But despite the lack of information about his personal life, Bilbrou left behind a significant body of work, particularly in the form of magazine illustrations for fetish titles and painted covers for racy pulp fiction paperbacks. What we know of Jean Bilbrou has been compiled by Richard Perez Seves in his book, The Unsung Legacy of a Fetish Art Pioneer. Bilbrou's life took an unexpected turn when he joined the Basin Street Boys, a LA-based doo-wop group, before ending up in New York City. His journey was marked by struggles with drug addiction and a focus on artistic pursuits that were considered pornographic at the time. Despite being accepted into the cartoonist and illustrator school, his work was largely unrecognized by the mainstream art world, possibly due to discrimination or the controversial nature of his art. Bilbrew's art reflected the era of the 1960s, a time when sex sold by the bucket load, and his illustrations played a significant role in contributing to this cultural phenomenon. The lurid and sensational covers of the Pulp Fiction paperbacks from the 1960s that featured his art were captivating and provocative, attracting attention from audiences eager for scandalous and titillating content. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and reminisce about that era. Bilbrew's work is a reflection of a specific historical period, and through his art, we can gain insight into the cultural and societal norms of the time. His illustrations and paintings provide a window into the world of fetishism and pulp fiction during the 1960s, offering a glimpse of the taboo and controversial subjects that captivated audiences during that era. To learn more about Jean Bilbrew and his contribution to the world of fetish art, you can explore books such as Cinerama, published by Farrell House and Richard Perez Seves's The Unsung Legacy of a Fetish Art Pioneer. Through these resources, we can delve deeper into the life and work of this enigmatic artist and gain a better understanding of the historical context in which his art was created. As we journey through these old photographs, let's savor the history they encapsulate and appreciate the impact of Jean Bilbrew's art on the cultural landscape of the 1960s. His legacy lives on through the provocative and evocative images that continue to captivate and intrigue audiences today.